Okay, the table space concept. The table space is the logical structure that comprises database. Altabase H three provides a data file, and that data file is where data is saved into. The data file is a physical storage for data, but the table space is a logical storage to manage data. So the table space not only con not only contains the table and index, but also other database objects such as page list, constraints, and etc. The table space is assigned for objects such as table and index once they are created, and they can be expanded inside the table space. Okay, so in, in order to run the database, at least one table space is needed. I'll show you which table spaces are needed, the types of them, the architecture, and how to manage them in the next few slides. Okay, now we're going to talk about the storage architecture of Altibase HDB. Okay, the term HDB will sound unfamiliar to you. The term HDB stands for hybrid database. Okay, it basically means the combination of memory database and a disk database. So we use disk area for the large capacity of data storage and memory area for the high performance of data processing. So we use disk and memory together from one single database engine. That's why it is called hybrid. And because it is hybrid, it is divided into disk and a memory separately. So mainly we have two table spaces, which are disk table space and memory table space. As you can see from the diagram, the disk table space has different structure compared to memory table space. That is because the memory table space is for the high performance, meaning it is not used for storing and managing a large amount of data, but it is used for high performance of data processing. That is why storage architecture only comprises a table space and a page, which is quite simple. Okay, the page is the smallest unit, like a block in other DMMS, and in the memory table space, it is 32 kilobytes. Okay, the disk table space is used for storing and managing large amount of data, meaning the large amount of data has to be managed well in order to store and manage them efficiently. So a single disk table space contains multiple segments, and a single segment consists of multiple extents. A single extent consists of 64 pages. Okay, for the page and disk table space, it is 8 kilobyte each. So the size of single extent would be 512 kilobytes. 8 kilobyte times 64 becomes 512. Okay, the types of table space. First of all, they are mainly classified into data property, whether it's memory type or the disk type. The memory table space is for the high performance of data processing and stores memory data, which resides in memory only. And the disk table space is the table space that is generally used in most of DBMS that stores this data, which resides in disk only. Secondly, they are classified by the type of time of creation and whether they are the system table spaces or the user's table spaces. Firstly, there are table spaces created automatically when database is firstly created. They are known as system table spaces. Um, there are five system table spaces created. The first two of them, system dictionary table space and system undo table space, are managed by system. Okay, the system Dictionary table space stores the information about all the meta tables to run the database, such as tables, columns, constraints, directories, privileges, indexes, table space users, view tables, and so on. Okay, the undo table space stores the undo image of data. The undo image is the image that is created when modifying operations are executed. Okay, the other three of them can be used by both sys user and the general user. Okay, so the temporary table space stores the information about all the temporary results of the query. It literally means temporary, so, so the data is deleted once related statement is finished executing. Okay, when a user wants to have table spaces, they can create their own table spaces and they are called user table spaces. The user table space is the table space that is created by user's preferences such as size, name, directory, and etc. So the table space can be created by sys user that has DBA authority by using create table space syntax. Okay, so they are the disk table space, memory table space, 
temporary table space and volatile table space. The volatile table space, I think you guys have never heard of this table space before. Like memory table space, this table space stores data resides only in memory. But there are no disk components, so it provides faster performance of data processing than memory table space.